track is interesting. Which now that there's pre-made ruts on the Supercross tracks, I don't know if he's keeping it like that or not. Anaheim won, but that was a absolute highway. Pre-made ruts, that's a different skill gap. I found it harder. I thought Anaheim won was fairly easy for someone like me. I only have almost close to 600 hours. And I thought Anaheim won was pretty easy. I mean, I never laid a heater down. The fastest I think I went is a 108 or something. I know guys were running one minute flats on 450s, but I was 250 and I'm just not that fast. Which I think I can get there one day, but right now, sometimes I can just, you know, bark around it like everybody else. And there's other times where it just doesn't make sense to me. This track's pretty nice, though, honestly. I like that he comes out with them pretty early in the week. You know, Wednesday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you know, usually he's got the next round ready. And then, you know, maybe JM is J, um, Jackie Moon, consistent competitor. Cause I like Jackie Strikes too. You know, he does the he does berms differently. He does the jumps differently. He does all his scaling is a little bit different. Colors and whatnot. I like that. I like those versions that he makes as well. So I'd be excited to see if he makes another one. Okay, now I'm kind of. Hey y'all. That feels good. I like the Suzuki dude. The Suzuki 250 is built different. I can't see the ruts, and that might be because of my reshade settings. I could just have him. Oh, well, let's see if I can stuff in here. Oh no. Oh no. He's right there. Hey, a 103. I'm telling you, I could probably, if I just greased an entire lap, I could probably get like a 10, 101. There's no way. Uh, not for me. You're all, That's a good line. Staying low. Coming out of corners. Hey! Just not having the drive. I had to drive more through the. Through the top of the berm, but on these tracks, the top of the berm doesn't really hold you, but <clears throat> recent ARL renditions of the tracks, they've kind of been holding you. I should bark in my ear that loud. I don't know why, but I put the, uh, was it 2016 YZ450F uh, sound mod on here. I just like the limiter. The limiter's sweet. That ruts all, that jump is all rutted up. I just, I, what am I, what do I do there? I mean, it's a skill issue, like, 100%, but I can't make the quad off the left side. I literally just pointed at the screen, like you guys can see me. I cannot get that quad. I can't sink into that, that pocket right there and come boosting up out of it. It's hard. Yeah. Come on, baby. I'm going to back a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm just going to frame it to death. Stuff it in the inside row. Do a lot of resetting. I do this a lot. Try to beat my time over and over and over and over and over. Come on. That's for it. That's fifth gear. Oh, my. Uh, I cannot. Hold on. I'm going to give another go here. That was fifth. Putting her in the pocket. Oh, no. That ain't good. That ain't, that's just not the run. I got to keep it composed coming out of the corner. I say that all the time. I never do it. This. Am I supposed to be sitting down here? Maybe. Here, I'll come on. Nope, not even close. That's closer than I think brake tapping and then not getting the back wheel lit back up in the air before I hit the ground was the detriment right there. I'll try it again. Hey. Hey. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. On the 250, I feel like I could probably flop right over it on the 450 though to be honest come on hey okay boink okay downside it stuff it in the inside pause you're up is that the line no it can't be i like the outside anyways more zero line discipline here up plus i'm just inconsistent it's hard to stay in the same line anyways like where am i going Honestly, it's probably worked out better for this corner. <laughs> oh my. Getting a little wobbly. Looking back at the haters. Locking out the haters. I also have like Forza controls on, which I see a lot of people use. Kind of LB clutch. And a is not my rear brake though. A is my sit and stand. I cannot push the sticks. It feels so weird to push the stick down to sit and stand. I know it's kind of what I'm going to have to end up switching to eventually oh my on the back tire there he's, there he's, there he's. I'll probably have to end up switching to that if I want to get any better at this game which sucks because my fingers just aren't used to it but. okay I see my my ghost absolutely awesome that's a good scrub 
almost died though. I am not. Okay, actually. What the one on me? Wait a minute. Oh man, hold on. Still very slow. Okay, I'm not. I just. You don't hype yourself up. Hype yourself up. I don't know what this is going to. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You might as well land half a hair short, frame it, and bounce off the second one, or bounce off to the to the landing other other the other one. Use the Pabosa physics to your advantage. Okay, this section right here is the one that's actually giving me fits, because I don't know what to do with it. I have no idea. Oh, that was greasy. Did you come right out of the whoops? I think I need to just dive to this inside. Look how much speed I have to have, though. To do what? Now watch, it's gonna sound like I'm screaming the whole time. Here I'll... Okay. That line is not... I'm not gonna be able to consistently do that, though. There's gonna have to be an alternative for me. I don't wanna get into some races on this track. I can honestly have not raced any of these. I've only raced on the ARL tracks, and I don't know why. Like the day they come out, because that's how my work schedule is. And then, I don't know, I usually don't touch the game until... I usually play every day about 4 a.m., but from like 4 to 7. Come on, baby! But, usually I just... I haven't found myself racing on these, uh, Stizzy tracks. Is it Skizzy? Who's making the track? Stizzy? Stizzy, okay. Maybe the setup is just placebo. Like, I remember I'd never rode Super... Well, very little time on Supercross. And I saw everybody was getting back into it, because obviously the season was around, and I was like, alright. I gotta try it now. I gotta do it. So I played the, uh, couple of the older, like, Glendale. Glendale and Indy, I think, from last year. I'm not making this, I'm just gonna send it anyways and die. I need to put a good lap in, I need to quit boofing around. But I played Glendale and Indy from last year, and honestly, it wasn't bad. And I was like, alright. And then I bought, it's 20 bucks, and I'm gonna put a bunch of time on the tracks, and I'm gonna get way better at the game, and the guy takes, I mean, it takes the guy, you know, probably so much time in his life to make the tracks himself so it's like why not give him 20 bucks like you know pay the man he's putting out you know a ton of tracks stone rider and jv and help machine during the outdoor season like i know those tracks are about to be i cannot wait for like um ama tracks and w or the super motocross tracks like that's gonna be they're gonna be so lit I can't wait. SMX tracks that we have now are... I mean, the ones... I don't know what... Chicago Land was terrible. Okay, the only one that was actually good was the last one at um, the Coliseum. That track's absolutely fire. Not fire. It's all right, but it was pretty cool. But Chicago Land, I thought was terrible. I thought was terrible. I was like, what is this layout? And I don't even know why I bought the track. Let's be honest. I just thought it looked cool. And I was like on the hype train. I just cleared it, okay. On the super motocross hype train, like I was really like into it for some reason. Well, probably because Hayden Deegan, which I'm, I'm a big fan of Hayden Deegan. Like, how can you not be, come on. You're mad about that having money, bro. You're a weirdo. You're just a weirdo. You're weird. But anyways, but it did get me hooked up onto the, onto those tracks and I really enjoyed playing them, but I didn't enjoy playing Chicago Land. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it was super weird. But the other one, the Coliseum one was fun. And then I was like, all right, well, you know, I can get around like a super cross track without whoops. Obviously, because that's what the the premise of the, you know, super motocross was. Super cross style. I just ran out of gas again. This is the third time I've ran out of gas since I've been on this track. How many laps have I turned? Okay, well, this is how many times I've reset. 58 times I've, <laughs> I've went for it. On my 53rd try, I ran my... Quickest one. <laughs> 53 tries it takes me. Oh, look, I run the first four. Before I set my marker, I will run four laps in a row. And then look, uh, every time it shows nothing is when I'm resetting my marker and trying it again, obviously. I mean, look, I just couldn't get it together from 16 to 34. Couldn't reel it in. <laughs> That's funny. Ideal lap time will 102. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What's the over-under? <laughs> over-under on if I make it through just a random lap. I'm just surprised. I, I'll be surprised if I get up on the on-off right here. Let's see what the verdict says. Here he comes. 
Hey, y'all. Yeah, I uh, see. Just I this track does look good though. I just I love the way it builds the uh, the surrounding environment of their tracks. Oh, I don't know why I lean back so much. I see people doing it on their sticks on their which I need to grab one of those. Oh yeah, I'm going over the burn, aren't I? No, keep it alive. Grease, I'm going for it. Is this the one I made? Hey, kept it together. We triple in here. Hey. Grease. Then a photographer. What am I doing? What am I talking about? There you go. Oh my god, big toss. Good scrub. Is it good right here? Nice. I don't know. Sometimes I look so unnatural. Oh my god, I'm barking. Does this look realistic at all? I was watching Spencer Turley today, and he's just absolutely going in on MX bikes. Oh, I just ran out of gas. That's what I was just going in on MX bikes. And I was like, I mean, I get it. It does get clicks. But like, bruv, it's not that bad of a game. 600 hours here. 555 or something like that. Hey, hey, Come on, not making that at all. Boom. Okay, yeah. See, those parts like goofy. I, I understand. I'd have to agree with that part. But the, the first person racing aspect of this game... Like, the first time I ever hopped on the gate on a Papiti server was, like, I don't even know how to explain it, dude. Like, I actually was, like, nervous. And it was sick. I mean, I had, like, literally four hours in the game. I didn't even have a computer. I was playing it at my buddy's house. But it was sick. I was like, dude, this is the coolest dirt bike game I've ever played. Ever in my entire life. I thought it was so And I just grinded it. Well, after I got my... I played it at his house, and I used to play it all the time. I mean, I probably did my first, like, 15, 20 hours at his house. And then I finally got a PC, and the grind was on. I don't know why. I just started playing bikes every single day. I still do. I mean, I... Actually, I took a long break from it. The bikes grind... I don't know, something about it, just getting faster, you know, getting smoother, getting more consistent. It's so fun. The grind is so fun, honestly. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm greasy. My rider looks like a doofus though with me controlling him. Terrible with the camera work. Oh, you're all, come on, we're going for it? Oh, we did go for it. What happens? Oh yeah, that's the one I made. This is the last lap I just ran. Bark the whoops. Lean back the whole time. That's not what you're supposed to really do. But on these, it works. Double, smart, triple. Case dead. I am curious. I want to see JM's version if he does it again. It'll be cool. His San Francisco version was pretty good. But I like this one. This one, I mean, excuse me, actually, it's easy. Is it this right here? This guy. This guy is who's doing it. This guy here. He's doing it. This is where my bike runs out right here. Done. But, I mean, he's, his tracks improve every single time. This is the third, third one. Obviously, this is the third round. Shouts everybody out. Shouts everybody out. But, like, every all the YouTubers... Yeah, this is a good track. I mean, honestly, it looks better than... I think I had my settings turned down a little bit. Like, see how these... See how this rolls up off, rolls up off the top? Like, there's really nothing holding you. It's kind of like a flat track corner. And, we, you know, that's just how the track map... I mean, I'm sure it's not easy to do this. Like, build a hype map and do all that. But I'm just saying, when we get to Stone Rider's rendition of it, these will probably be a little cupped on the top or however, whatever terminology you want to use. But they'll just be... I mean, and it'll be uh, th that or it'll be all rutted like it was at San Francisco, which I didn't mind, but I'm terrible at riding through ruts and I didn't even get even close to qualifying. So it's like, I'll never get close to qualifying in the next... Until I have at least 12, 1300 hours. But I'm at 600 right now and I, I've seen other people's posts there at 12, 1300 hours. But like, there's a couple guys I'm like, dude, I'd probably blow your doors off, but I can't. I don't know if I could say consistent. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're consistent and I'm... And they can just ride around the track. Okay, I digress. Do a see if I can get one more little lap in real quick and then just... Oh no, I just hit exit from testing. Alright, well that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching.